Farmers and qualifying Virginia businesses can significantly reduce their solar investment with the USDA REAP grant. Today, we'll show you step-by-step -step how this grant works in Virginia and how you can capitalize. Yeah, Warren, the USDA grant is available up to 50% of total project cost. Right now, you can apply once a quarter. Okay. So the next quarterly round is right around the corner here at the end of September yep. 2024. Yeah. So it's it's coming right up. I mean, the deadline is, is just around the corner. Um, now, after September, it's unknown. Will there still be quarterly rounds? Will it still be 50%? Will there still be a lot of money available? Nobody really knows. Um, so we're just... We're just sharing what we know today, and the rest is a little bit uncertain. When are we going to find out or get some clarity on that? That's also unknown, unfortunately. Okay. Yep. Um, I would like to know within the next couple of weeks, obviously, because the September round's coming right up, and yep. then after that we go into the unknown. But I'm guessing it's more likely it's going to be later this year sometime that okay. we find out. Um, a couple other details. We do take a pre-development fee of $3,000 for every project that we do. Okay. Um, and the reason for that, Warren, is we have quite a bit of cost. Uh, we walk with the customer every step of the way in the application. Uh, sometimes we have to do design drawings. Sometimes we have to get them stamped by an engineer. So we have quite a bit of cost. And what we do is rather than charging exactly what that costs or charging a higher fee, we just take $3,000 down. So the customer has a small upfront payment. The other thing that that does too, with a larger payment, it would reduce the customer's overall USDA grant. Right. So any money that they pay for their pre-development fee is an eligible cost for the grant. So we try to keep that low, even though we know our costs for most of these are going to be over $3,000. Right. A few other notes, uh, things to understand about the USDA grant, particularly in Virginia, is that we have a very high success rate. Right. Right now we're at 100%. Now, we have a lot of projects in the queue that we, we haven't found out about, but so far, what is known, we're at 100%, which is pretty exciting. Um, now, there's a couple other details that aren't quite as exciting. One is the slow timelines. What are those timelines? The length of time from application until we hear back could be a year plus, unfortunately. Wow. Yep. Now, I'm hoping that as we get closer to the end of this round, that those timelines will shrink, but certainly no guarantee. So you're looking at probably... A year plus and then I will also add to that in Virginia particularly if you when you find out if you're awarded it can still take several months for you to receive the, the awards so it could be a year until you find out and then several months until you actually receive the check yep so it can it can take some time the other thing to remember with this is that it is a grant and that is taxable income right so if you get a large grant you want to make sure you're prepared at tax time for the tax implications of receiving that grant. So just something to be aware of. Probably the biggest piece I'd like to communicate to our customers, Warren, is that it requires active participation on their part. Right. There's a lot of paperwork involved in this. It's a large grant and it requires the customer to take ownership of gathering information and documents that are required for the grant application. And the requirements for these documents are very detailed and they're mandatory. Right. They're not something we can say, oh, we don't want to do that. Well, if you don't want to do that, you can't apply for the grant. Right. So you've got to do detailed as they ask. So we're going to write the grant for you, but we can't write the grant without your help helping us write the grant. And it requires a heavy lift on your part to provide us with all of the documents that we need. That's right. So Larry, what's the process for somebody to get a USDA grant? Well, first of all, they need to sign the PES proposal. So yep. they need to sign the actual contract and then the solar consultant will go over the process, the details, they'll introduce the process manager or the grant writer to the customer. And then our grant writer, writer or process manager will reach out to the customer, schedule a meeting to again, go over more details and start the process. The first step after that is to sign and complete all the applications. So there's a lot of papers that need to be signed and completed. Right. We'll prepare them and we'll put them in front of the customer to sign but the customer still needs to sign them because they're the applicant. Um, a couple other things that we'll need, the most recent 12 months of utility bills. All the pages of all the counts of all the bills involved in this project will be needed. And sometimes the process takes so long that we need to update the utility bills again at a later right. time. Correct. So that can happen. So that's just something to be aware of. Not insurmountable, but documentation that we'll need. There's a SAM.gov registration um, this has to be active at the time of application and the whole way through the process. 
So again, we can kind of prep the customer for that, but the customer is the one that actually has to acquire this registration and actually complete it right. themselves. Um, there's a couple other things they need to prove that they have the available capital or commitment of funds from a bank to, to complete the project. USDA wants to make sure if you apply for a grant, you have the funds ready and available to, to actually build the project if they uh, approve or award the, the monies for that grant. Um, there's financial info that's needed uh, for all affiliated entities, especially if you're over $200,000 contract price. You need all the financial info for any affiliated entities. And that's, a, that's an important piece because most business owners or farmers own multiple entities. And if you own multiple entities, the application will be in the name of the entity that's applying for the grant. But the USDA office still wants to see the financials from all of the other entities or affiliates that you have that have common ownership. So if you have four or five different entities, you'll need to provide financials for all of those entities. Yep. And it's not just back of the napkin. Like this is something prepared by your CPA that uses the generally acceptable accounting practices or GAAP yep. compliant practices. Um, so it's it's not back of the napkin. It's something that uh, that is official. Um, and the same registration reveals this, so it, it can't be hidden. Like, you can't right. get away with this. This is not something you can just make up. It does have to be official and detailed. A um, couple other things. There's a, a detailed environmental report that's required if the yeah. system is a ground mount. Yeah. That's something, again, we can help the customer work through that. Um, and then we'll complete all the organizational documents, the articles of incorpora incorporation, articles of organization, organizational charge lease agreements, and more. There's a lot of documentation a lot of requirements, but we'll walk the customer through that. So I think what I want to, what I really want to highlight here, Warren, is that we'll do what we can to make the process easy for the customer. Right. But the customer needs to be completely bought in and be able to prepare the documentation that's needed to submit the grant application and all the information with it. Are you ready to dive deeper into the ins and outs of a solar installation in Virginia? Then our Virginia Solar Buyer's Guide is perfect for you. Using the link in the description below, you'll get access to answers to the common questions asked by your fellow Virginians before they invested in solar. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this valuable.